Okay, people, if you're watching this episode the week that it was released, then that means we've got about 100 days left in 2020. Actually, probably a little less than 100 days. So my question to you is, what are you gonna do with those 100 days? How will you use that time? What will you create? What project are you gonna finally finish? And what's an exciting goal that you're determined to accomplish before this year is over? How are you gonna finish strong? That is what today's episode is all about. How to rally yourself and finish 2020 feeling strong, financially strong, mentally strong, and feeling like a strong leader too. Look, I know 2020 has been the shit show of all shit shows. This has not been a silky ride, but no matter what has happened earlier in this year, right now, you've got a choice. You can decide to feel discouraged and defeated and just kind of shuffle passively through the rest of this year, or you can decide, I'm gonna finish strong. And if you want to finish 2020 on a high note, feeling proud, feeling victorious, in spite of all the circumstances, then keep watching and let's nail down your plan because this year is not over yet. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids and I'm married and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things. We're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. It's time for the question of the day. This is the part of the show where I share a question for you, the beautiful person who's watching me right now. What's one thing that makes you feel strong? Post your answer down below in the comments. Okay, here's a cool exercise that just takes a minute or two to do. You can follow along with me right now. And if you happen to have a pen and paper nearby, great. If not, just listen and contemplate. I want you to think about the following three questions. Before the end of 2020, number one, what's one thing you can do to feel financially strong? Number two, what's one thing you can do to feel mentally strong? And number three, what's one thing you can do to feel like a strong leader? Write down your answers to those questions and just like, boom, now you've got the beginnings of your Finish Strong plan. Now you know where to focus your attention. Again, here are those questions. Before the end of 2020, number one, what's one thing you can do to feel financially strong? It might be like making a meeting plan with your financial planner, putting together a budget to save some money, um, downloading a budget app on your phone, Number two, what's one thing you can do to feel mentally strong? Hire a life coach, read some books on personal development. Number three, what's one thing you can do to feel like a strong leader? Speak up about social justice issues, start some conversations on Facebook. Okay, so to give you some examples, I'll share some of my personal answers with you. So to feel financially strong, one thing that I'm gonna do is agree to a real estate investment project that Scott Hyatt really wants to do. We're gonna build some more apartments. But for you, it might be something different. Maybe you were gonna hire an accountant or invite a previous client to hire you again or have a garage sale so you can declutter and make some extra money at the same time. Maybe that would make you feel financially strong. Okay, so for me to feel mentally strong, one of the things that I'm gonna do is start going back to our family therapist. 
She's worked with us since my kids were like four and six and she knows my whole family well and coaches need their own mental health support. So I'm really committed to doing that for myself in 2020. Again, for you, it might be something different. Maybe being in nature helps you feel mentally strong or maybe it's having a long Zoom chat with your mom or mentor or talking to a life coach or therapy or exercise. And to feel like a strong leader, one thing I'm gonna do is start a new life coach training university. That's a big endeavor, <laughs> but I'm gonna feel like a leader in my industry. How are you gonna be a strong leader for your household, for your team, company, for your community, for your country? You don't need to be a CEO or president in order to lead and be a role model and inspire others. You can be a powerful leader right now, just as you are. Okay, so you just wrote down three ways that you can finish strong and wrap up 2020 feeling proud and victorious. Now, bust a move. You've got less than 100 days until the end of 2020, so it's definitely go time. It's time for a two minute makeover. So right now, we're actually filming in an Airbnb. <laughs> I'm working from a temporary workspace because my office, my entire downstairs actually is being remodeled. And my temporary space is okay, but honestly it could be better. And it's hilarious because my temporary space is actually Ryan Hyatt's childhood bedroom. And even when he was a kid, like probably starting in the fifth grade, he didn't really even sleep in there. He slept in the basement. He made the basement like his man cave. Um, and his room was always kind of a junk room. However, there are posters of Manny Pacquiao and Bruce Lee in there. <laughs> Um, but one of the things that I did that I'll show you is we moved my actual, uh, well, it's now my old desk because I have new office furniture coming, but we moved my desk that I'm used to using upstairs. We set everything up there up, how it was set up in my office office. I have like these rolling racks of clothes that I actually spent some time organizing. Um, we moved all the junk and boxes and stuff out of there. And I put a beautiful piece of artwork behind me on the wall so that when I show up live for all of y'all, it doesn't look as bad as it actually is. And it didn't take me very long, you know, to, although Scott Hyatt would disagree. It took him some time to get my desk up there, but it didn't take me very long to like push the junk out of the way, clear boxes out, put a piece of artwork behind me, instant upgrade. And I wanted to make sure that even though it's a temporary space and it's Ryan's old bedroom, the desk and where I was, I wanted to feel as strong and powerful as possible. So um, with clearing out some of the clutter and putting some artwork up, so much better, right? Now it feels much more like a boss works here, even temporarily. So what's one thing you could do to upgrade your workspace or some other part of your environment so that you feel strong? Think on it and go do it. So here I am in an Airbnb office being interviewed by my lovely personal and executive assistant, Bianca, who's off camera. <laughs> <laughs> but we we thought we would do a quick interview. So what you got? These are questions that we think relate to Finish Strong and they're questions you could ask yourself as well. What's one thing you are determined to finish before the end of this year? Okay, so one thing I'm determined to finish before the end of this year is we are starting the University for Life Coach Training and I am determined to finish the curriculum because we will be enrolling in January. So we got to knock it out of the park in Q4. What's one thing that makes you feel strong? One thing that definitely makes me feel strong is what do you think I'm going to say? Well, I saw you lifting weights on the beach. So I was just like, mm, that's right. <laughs> Weightlifting. Yes. Lifting weights for sure. Uh, also my Peloton. When I get on that thing, I feel like a rock star. So um, movement is definitely a big part of what helps me feel strong. What's something you started or attempted this year but did not finish? 
why not, and are you going to finish it? Oh my gosh. Um, something I started and didn't finish was the, was the curriculum for <laughs> the university. And the reason I didn't finish it was because I realized I needed help. And so I've hired diversity and inclusion specialists and I've hired um, curriculum specialists. And now I have a whole team to help pull all the intellectual property out of my head and also help me create fresh content. So I really just needed more help. I thought I could do it all by myself and that's not true. So I'm determined to finish. I'm gonna finish. Do you feel like you're a strong leader? What kind of role model do you wanna be? Hmm. I feel like I'm an enthusiastic leader. <laughs> um, I think I have a lot. I, yeah, I would say I'm a strong leader in the sense that I am, even if I'm afraid to speak my mind, I will speak my mind. Um, I'm always trying to become a better leader. And I think the way to become a better leader is to manage your mind and learn how to have difficult conversations because I spent a lot of my life just avoiding difficult conversations and if you just have the conversation they're not that bad so so what kind of role model do you want to be oh I want to be a role model I really I want to be remembered as a woman who did the damn thing you know like a role model who whatever it was that was a goal whether I accomplished it or not I tried when was the last time you felt really proud of yourself? I felt really proud of myself last weekend um, when Ryan Hyatt was over. So for those of you who don't know, I have a 22-year-old who is a residential realtor. And years ago before starting this company, um, I was in residential real estate as well. And I felt really proud of how hard he's working Um Things that he obviously picked up from us as parents that we didn't think he was listening <laughs> about. Um, and also proud that I was able to mentor him and help him close some deals. So I felt really proud. Okay, so this is just for fun. But what is the last thing that you finished? It could be a book, or whatever, whatever. But. Mm. Uh, oh, so... I am convinced that Hallmark is popular because the world is literally burning like, <laughs> like Hallmark. Hallmark viewership has shot through the roof. And um, I binge watched and finished a Hallmark series called Cedar Cove, which has Andy McDowell in it, for those of you who remember her. Um, and it is like, like Cedar Cove. They're, they actually film it off of Vancouver, but it's like this little seaside town and there's maybe like a couple hundred residents and she's a judge and um, it is like candy for the mind. I finished that, three seasons of Cedar Cove. <laughs> <laughs> so we will post those questions for you as well so that you can answer them. I would love to hear in the comments some of your answers to those questions and what you're gonna make sure you don't leave unfinished in 2020. A lot can happen in a hundred days. So hey, before we wrap up today's show, I wanna give you a Finish Strong pep talk. So every year I do a conference called Finish Strong. I invite business owners, consultants, coaches, and I encourage everyone to choose an exciting goal and go for it. Get it done before the end of the year. Finish on a high note. And I gotta tell you, it's astonishing what people are able to accomplish in 100 days or less. When you really commit and go all in, whole heart, whole mind, whole spirit, it's incredible what you can do. So last year, there was one woman at the conference and she'd been having a really tough year financially. Her business was not thriving and she was on the brink of just giving up. During Finish Strong, she had a major turnaround moment and she decided, you know what? I ain't done yet. So she decided to fine tune her business, try some marketing strategies, be a little more bold and daring and try to line up some more clients and it worked. She had a wildly successful season. 
her final quarter ended up being the most profitable quarter of her whole year. She ended the year on a major high note. And this was a woman who was truly on the verge of shutting down her entire business and just walking away. She was gonna just burn it all down. So before you give up on your business, your marriage, your creative aspirations, your dream, maybe consider giving it 100 more days. Recommit, commit more fiercely than ever. Make a new plan, a plan to finish strong. What's it gonna take for you to finish the year feeling proud and victorious, feeling stronger than ever? Give yourself a chance to finish strong because a lot can change in just 100 days. On the other side of those 100 days, you might feel like a new woman. This has been Go Time TV. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're feeling inspired to finish strong in all areas of your life. Financially strong, mentally strong, strong relationships, strong leadership, stronger than ever. This year ain't over yet, not even close. You've still got plenty of time to make miracles happen. And if you wanna work with me and my team, to create miracles in your business, you could sign up for my event, Finish Strong, or you could apply to work with me individually. I'd love to help you build your dream business and start making serious money. Apply to be considered for this program and we'll go from there. Also, if this show brought some positivity into your day, then click the thumbs up button below do it, thank you, and subscribe so that you never miss an episode. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. And remember, you only get one life. Make it big. Make it count. It's go time.